here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you guys a little unexpected Chanel unboxing. Now, before we get into this, I have a couple of disclaimers to tell you. This is not my bag. This is my mom's bag. She just picked it up literally today and I was so shocked that I had to do a unboxing video for you guys. You guys are going to be so, so shocked because I literally just talked about this on my channel about how I would probably never buy these items from Chanel anymore. However, like I said, this is not my item. I actually actively tried to convince my mom not to buy it, but she went ahead and did it anyway. I wasn't even going to unbox it on my channel, but there was something really surprising about this bag that I really, really wanted to talk to you guys about. So yeah, I'm doing this anyway. Please don't hate me in the comments. Like I said, this is not my bag. I'm still not buying any Chanel Classic flaps from here on out in the boutique, at least as far as I know, but my mom does not apparently have that sentiment. So we're going to get straight into the unboxing, but before we get started, if you could just quickly grab that subscribe button if you are new. My name is Saki. I upload videos every single week. I really love luxury handbags, so if that's your thing as well, I think you would really like it here. Alright, so let's just get straight in. So they gave me a Chanel bag, but they didn't have like any Chanel boxes. So it just came in this like white shipping box. There is still a weird shortage of Chanel boxes, so they said that they would send me one. Um, once they received them in store. Now this is really funny because she actually bought this one at Neiman Marcus and once you see what this is I think you'll be shocked as well because Neiman's really doesn't get any like good stock but for some reason this super super rare bag came in and yeah I guess that's why my mom had to buy it. It's so funny because like it's kind of annoying because like this is on my wish list too but I wanted to buy a vintage one as you guys know. I mean I'm talking about it so much you guys probably already know what's in here. Alright so when you get one of these boxes the um, dust bag and the booklet actually comes in like this just on the side and then there is like another like generic dust bag. Alright so my mom ended up buying the brand new in-store Chanel Classic Flap in the Beige Claire small. <sighs> this is the exact bag that I want guys. Like I told you this a million times like in wishlist videos and pretty much every time I talk about Chanel. This is the only thing my collection is missing. I desperately wanted to buy a beige clear caviar um, small classic flap but I really wanted to buy a vintage version preferably from around 2004, 2005 somewhere around there. I really didn't want to buy one in store but my mom I guess also wanted one too. I mean we pretty much have the same styles and she was willing to spend that money where I wasn't so she ended up buying it because her essay offered it to her. I'm just really, really shocked. I cannot believe that there is a small beige Claire classic flap in Neiman Marcus. Like that's just so bizarre to me. But you know what? Good for her. I'm really glad that she has this bag. And now that she does have it, I'm going to kind of rethink whether I want it in my collection or not because we do live very close to each other. And as you guys know, my mom and I tend to share a lot of our collection. We're both really cool about it. She borrows my stuff. I borrow her stuff. So yeah, I actually don't know if this is going to actually be in my wish list anymore but we'll see. Like I said I tried so hard to convince her not to buy this in store because I stand by my word. I think that it's astronomical to pay you know the seven grand or whatever for a small classic flap. I clearly think it's insane but you know what it's her money. She can do whatever she wants with it but yeah I just think it's still really insane. Okay so the thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the fact that um, I mentioned in my Chanel price increases video. By the way if you haven't checked that out I will link it down below for you guys. I mentioned in that video that the caviar and the quality of caviar isn't the same in Chanel anymore and I was saying there's one exception and that is the black classic flap. Now that I'm looking at the beige Claire classic flap this is also one of the bags that hasn't changed in quality. All right, I'm going to compare it um, for you guys one more time so that you can see, but this is how they've been doing the caviar like recently. It's like pebbled like this, whereas this one has got the like flatter, more classic caviar. So they used to do like all the caviar bags like this, but now they're doing this kind of caviar for literally every single like caviar bag except for the um, classic 
beige clear and the classic black, I guess. Um, let me know if you guys know any different about that or if they're doing any other like colors in this kind of caviar. This is the way that I prefer my caviar leather. I think that it's so beautiful. It feels really, really nice to the touch. It doesn't feel plasticky at all, and it feels like really good quality. So I'm glad that even though she spent a ton of money on it, that she bought something that is actually really, really good quality. The gold is also really, really yellow and shiny. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so it's not like a champagne kind of gold. It's like a like really pure gold. It's not as like yellow as the um, gold plated ones from like the vintage collections, but it's still a pretty good color. So I'm not going to be spending too much time going over like the basics of the bag or anything. I actually did have a Chanel small classic flap before and I did a whole like comparison of that one and all of the other classic flap sizes. So if you want to go check that out, I will link it down below for you guys in case you do want to know like what fits and the dimensions and how it compares to like a medium flap. Please go check out that video. Um, the only other thing that I wanted to mention in this video is that Chanel has changed like their serial number system and they're not doing authenticity cards anymore. Apparently this started last season for pre-fall but I didn't buy anything from that season and technically I didn't buy anything from this season either so I wanted to share that information with you in case you guys didn't know as well. So everything is the same in the um, inside of the classic flap. It's still got the second flap, everything. It's still got the um, gold stamping. However, there used to be like a sticker like on the bottom corner um, that had the serial number. They're not doing the sticker anymore, which I think is a great idea because those stickers can come off, they can get ruined. Now they're doing a little plaque like this, and this is actually a microchip. So if you bring your bag into Chanel to get it repaired or whatever, they can scan the microchip to see if it's real and I think that they also can store your information like your customer information in there I'm, I'm not too sure about that and I don't know how that would work secondhand as well but yeah this is now like the serial code and it's actually like a substantial little like gold plaque which is kind of cool and then the serial number now are just um, I think they're all letters so you know how like usually the um, serial codes start with like you know 20 something or 30 something now I guess well they're not doing that anymore and it's just like a combination of letters and numbers and it's a eight digit or eight letter code I'm not going to show you like what my code is but um, I'll cover up some of the letters so it looks like it's so tiny on the tag so it looks like this and it's under that little QR code thing so I guess that's kind of cool I was saying to one of my friends how I thought it was neat because I think that you know that might slow down the like Chanel fakes market um, the microchip is probably a lot harder to fake than a real one but then again like if you're buying something secondhand you're not going to be able to check I don't know the fake secondhand luxury market kind of scares me so yeah I don't know hopefully that helps with that but even if not I think that's a really cool idea you don't even have to worry about you know having the authenticity card anymore it's all my chipped within the bag. Alright, so I guess that was the end of the video. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. I'm just so shocked that this is in my hand right now. The color is so beautiful. Like, what do you guys think of the beige clear? I think it's literally the perfect shade of beige, and I think that it goes really well with pink. Like, if it was sitting right here next to all of my pink bags, wow, that's... That's so beautiful. Maybe I'll try to aim for the beige clear in like a different size since my mom has the small one. Like maybe I'll try to get in the medium vintage or something or maybe like just another like bag in general. <sighs> what do you guys think? I just think it's like so dumb if I like got another bag um, like the same one in vintage when I could just borrow my mom. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. All right. So yes, I know that was surprising, but I hope that you enjoyed this video anyway. Please, 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 please comment down below what you think of this bag. Um, is my mom crazy for buying it at such crazy prices? I don't know. Oh my god, I totally almost forgot. <laughs> I forgot to mention July's giveaway. So for the month of July, I'm giving away this Coach Rowan satchel. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is leave this emoji in the comment section down below. I do monthly giveaways, so that is why you should definitely be subscribed to my channel. You do have to be following me here on YouTube to win and also following me on Instagram 
Instagram. So please leave your Instagram username in your comment as well. Um, you can comment in as many videos as you want in the month of July, only for the videos that I upload in July. You also, um, and yeah, um, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. I told you I'm not yours anymore. No, I'm not yours. So why are you trying to hold?